quick update on our preparation for the wrapper paint. I already fixed uh, rear hose that left from the ambulance lights. I decided to keep that ventilation uh, hole and then the and the cover. Also, I tried to remove as much as possible uh, different variety of the imperfections, dents and uh, scuffs and things like that. And after I removed the, uh, the letters, they, the, their, there were letters here and they painted the letters and they cut it, uh, cut with a knife uh, through the, to the metal. So it was kind of tricky to clean it up. But well, definitely all the, all the areas with the, uh, where I went through the metal, we'll use the primer to get them covered, epoxy primer, I guess. And also fixed here the connection of the two panels had some imperfections, there's a slight bend panel, the lower panel. We'll have to fix the front holes as well. And the holes that left from the main light. Front as well, I used the uh, fiberglass uh, from both sides. And I'm also using the metal reinforced bondo on top uh, so uh, it's pretty 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 solid and I was trying even to hit it with a hammer and they were still in place so I guess it will be working fine also fix the rear holes almost finished here have to finish the holes in the doors and a small damaged area is here, they're already fixed. Look what left from the license plate uh, bracket, license plate lights bracket. And that's the, I didn't even, I didn't even was working with the, uh, with the sandpaper here. That's what left just after I removed the, the panel itself. Uh, working on the van all over with the 320 with the tough spaces, with the areas like that, sometimes 240, 220, and then on top 320. And as I said, all the spaces where I burn through will cover with the, with the primer. And sure, we'll cut this space out and we'll install the window here. So keep on working. Also, uh, I ordered the uh, uh, base coat. Same color is gonna be a navy blue, dark navy blue. So we'll cover the whole entire van with a base coat first, and then we'll go with the with the wrapper stuff. And I'm gonna use the uh, spray gun with a 1.8 millimeter uh, nozzle to spray the wrapper paint. And we'll see how it's gonna be. What's up guys? So here's the result of five days of working. And it's completely ready to put the primer on. I fixed all the holes with the 
filler from the outside and the epoxy fiberglass from the inside and the finish filler as the top coat and just covered uh, places where I grind through with the basic primer from the can washed it and it's completely ready to put the epoxy primer this will be my under layer for the Raptor paint it has some imperfections here but I, I guess it had the, an accident somewhere over here but I didn't want to spend time making it really straight just left it as, as it is cut the window install the window on the left side so now we are going to take the uh, sticky napkin we'll go through again and I'm using the uh, I'm not a professional painter I'm just uh, learning and working on my projects and I'm putting the epoxy primer with my favorite gun it's a SATA 1500 with a 1.4 nozzle and uh, the epoxy primer mixed one to two and half of the part of the reducer. But for the uh, for the rubber paint, we're gonna use another gun. It's a it's called a primer gun with a 1.8 nozzle, and we'll reduce it up to 15 percent and mix it with the with the color. I'll show you later. And the uh, pressure set to two bar, and uh, all the all the setup of the gun is just made by eye and we'll see how it's gonna be